Hello, welcome to the content portion of the Space Shooter Complete Game series. And in this series, we're just going to do the graphics. We have no audio or video kind of stuff for now. The next series, which is the Tower Defense, we're going to do everything audio, video, graphics, animation, everything, all that stuff. So for this tutorial, we're just going to do three graphics. The player sprite, the enemy sprite, and the bullet sprite. The player sprite is going to take the longest because we need to trace a drawing I made. The enemy sprite is just going to be very simple. It's just going to be like a half circle with some effects added to it. And then a little triangle to you do the turret. And then the bullet will be just a standard box with some pixel effects added to it. So as you're watching the video, you should have a zip file. And if you're watching this on YouTube, the zip file will be added to the first initial video. I'm going to do the series first and then do an introduction video. The introduction video needs to be watched before this video and before the first development video. Since I can't really say anything in the introduction video until I get everything all finished off, so hopefully things all get sorted out. And then you'll have two zip folders, one for this, the resources, and the other one for the whole thing. That will not be for YouTube members, but for the other members on the website, they'll download the zip file, or maybe I'll do an ISO disk image, and that will contain every video, every resource, and every project. So the resources zip file will have an image and a PSD. These are for the graphics. So in the images, we only have one drawing, and that's the ship drawing. So we need to convert that into the sprite by tracing it, and I'm going to use Photoshop for this. So if we open up Photoshop, uh, let's do open. Uh, let's cancel that. We need to do, we just simply drag and drop. So drag the ship image inside Photoshop and then it's in there as well and I lost the original so this one's kinda of crappy as you see the turret is halfway done on the tip so we need to do more stuff to this but we can get there and as you can see it's very large it's a good idea to work in images is very large and then convert it to lower size when you're done and then do more stuff if you need it that way you get all the additional cool effects you get when you're doing it in very large and it scales down. If you do it in smaller amount and find out, hey, I need it a lot bigger, you'll get all the uh, artifacting and pixel. It'll just look weird when you scale it up from a small scale rather than scale it down from large scale. So we need to actually convert this to the sprite. As you can see, it's hand-drawn. Now we can do all the sorts of effects where we have a little slight curve here and then we can actually do that in the design but I'm going to just do this quickly since it's the first design video I don't want to complicate things too much so I'm just going to do this all quickly and this might not be complete full circle and good thing to know is if you have a ship or anything that has the same thing on both sides you can only you should only do half of the image because that way when you get to the other half it'll be completely symmetric so let's go to the background double click that to unlock it and then let's go to the image canvas size change that to pixels and set the width to half so 640 that will cut the image in half Now let's move it over and hold shift and move it over until it snaps. So that way you're just looking at the first full left side and move it up to if you gotten you can check transparency. If it's off a little, it'll be transparent. So just make sure it snaps. Hold shift to move it in the same direction. And then check the sides, top, right make sure nothing is transparent and now we're good to go so now what we need to do is grab the pen tool and that's located here or we can just type P and that will go to the pen tool and 
we want to do the first option and that's a shape layer and the color the color doesn't really matter at this point we can change it later on but I'm going to do the light blue sort of like right here alright and go to layer new layer or you can do the shortcut and let's call it uh, wing since we just want to do the whole this big trace right now which is just the wing and then we'll go into the center and then we'll go into the turret so right now we just need to focus on the wing so I'm going to start at the bottom this little point right here now we're still on the paths the first option the shape layer and we have a color as blue we have a new layer called the wing and now let's start by clicking on this point right here the farthest point at the bottom now we move up and just do this in small increments you can do this in a lot smaller increments than me I'm just doing this as a quick guide for now and then just click anywhere up there and make it as close as possible remember this is going to be very large so we don't need to do any hardcore stuff right now now if you're using a different graphics tool I'm I apologize I won't be able to help you out too much but if you're using Photoshop and this is your first time using a pen tool you might notice that you have these this long straight line and if you click somewhere else it does another curve now to get around that you hold alt or option on the Mac alt on Windows and click the center of that line which is the point you added so now if you click another point it just does it straight so that gets rid of the curving so now we can do our custom curve right here now I'm going to choose one up here click and hold then we can do more stuff here getting it just as close as possible alt click the center go up again let's choose this point right here as close as possible click up here to the point where the wing ends and make it as close as possible alt and now here's where it gets a little tricky we just change the opacity of this layer the wing layer down a bit so that way we can see the black line All right. Now let's pick this point right here and make it as close as possible you can make it as uh, you can change it up here if you want as well to make it a little bit more drastic type of wing and go back down to here at this point make it as close as possible and if it turns out you messed something up on the last one you can go back by doing alt control Z and that does more history back so I'm just going to do a massive one right here instead of doing a small one just make it as close as possible try to get it connected look nice alt now let's go into the uh, right before it meets with the turret get it as close as possible alt now we just want to fill this in we don't but since we have a circle in front of the wing at this point we don't really care how it looks out how it turns out just make it as close as possible try to imagine where it's going to be but it doesn't really matter hold shift and then click the bottom here where the wing starts up again so that way it's completely vertical and let's go to this point where the wind starts changing again to make it as close as possible and then shift click the end so now we have a complete path